Hi there, this is Hannah, your average student going to study on the upper floors of the West Wing in Wells Library. We want to change the minds of students like her and have them take the stairs instead of always using the elevator. the people often take the elevator in groups, we're going to have an upper bound and a lower bound. The upper bound has the elevator being used by every person individually, one person, or the lower bound of people going in groups of five. The upper bound calculation left us with 45.78 pounds of CO2 per hour from our pre-observation data, and the lower bound of groups of five has 9.2 pounds of CO2 per hour. For pre-intervention, we recorded everybody who took the stairs in the elevator for two weeks during lunchtime. We sat across the elevator, hoping we would go unnoticed. There. All right, we chose a simple design for the posters so that they're easy to read and easy to attain the information quickly. We chose a light blue font on both of them for the information to neutralize any environmental or political factors between the two. There's a simple image here depicting immediately that both posters involve taking stairs. Um, they both involve positive injunctive language suggesting what the participants could do. Um, there's a small environmental cooperation plug here at the bottom for both of them. And we put the source of the information right here at the bottom. It's not easy to read, but it gets the point across that our information is valid. And the only difference between the two is the information being environmentally responsible here and personally responsible on this one. Charlotte and I placed the posters right in the middle of the entranceway to the stairs and elevator, which made it seem like the elevator was broken to some people, while Karen and Hannah placed it on the side, but placing it in the middle gave us slightly better results. Another issue we faced is when people were going to take the stairs, but the elevator was conveniently there, so people would hop on the other ride. Our pre-observation data had 22% of students that took the stairs in an average hour and 78% that took the elevator in an average hour. We then decided for our intervention to use two different types of signs of information, carbon dioxide and calories, because we weren't sure what type of information was going to be most of an incentive for students. Our post-observation data has 30% of students that took the stairs, which is an 8% increase with the CO2 poster and 70% that took the elevator. And our calories poster had a 10% increase that took the stairs, a 2% difference between the types of signs. Our post observation data has our carbon dioxide poster at an 8.41% decrease in elevator usage. And if we apply that percentage to our upper and lower bounds from pre-observation, we saved 0.77 to 3.85 pounds of CO2 per hour. And our calories poster had a 10.13% decrease in elevator usage. If we apply that to our upper and lower bounds of pre-observation, we saved 0.932 to 4.64 pounds of CO2 per hour. After completing our experiment, we noticed a few things that we would have done differently if we were to do the same experiment again. First, we would have made sure that the placement of the posters was the same during each of the observation periods to ensure that there was no extra impact or influence on anyone's decision making. Additionally, we would also have put a, re a reset period in between the two posters. Since we didn't have a time in between the changing of the posters, we don't know if the people were able to remember the poster before or which one really had the bigger impact. 